In this tip, I'm gonna give you the best drill to learn an effortless golf swing. So I did this tip many years ago. So this is so important, I'm doing it again. And I have a better description for it. It's called Taming the Wild Stallion. You, you are the wild stallion. And this drill is going to tame you. So what am I getting at? Well, most people, when they're hitting the golf ball, try to hit the ball with as hard as they possibly can with their hands and arms. I've said this for years and years and years and years, okay? And you know you do this because that's what you're thinking about. You're looking at an object right here and you're gonna try and whack at it as hard as you can, aren't you? Most people do that. So that is not what we wanna do to get an effortless golf swing. We wanna not be hitting anything. We're going to hit the ball with our body. We get the power because we have loose wrists, which allows the golf club to release, which gives us the club head speed. So I don't have to swing super hard. I just allow my loose wrists to get the club head speed, okay? So I'm not up here trying to hammer it as hard as I can. Okay, so we got to tame the wild stallion. All right, so how are we going to do that? Well, imagine you hit your 7-iron 150. I need you to do a full swing and hit this 7-iron 100 yards. All right, and now yeah, I've been teaching now since 1991. And I have shown this drill to countless people over the years. Not one has done this on the first ball. Zero. Okay? So hopefully you can be the first. So what I'm trying to do, trying to do a full swing. So you might want to take your laser, laser out. Oh, I hit my 7-iron 150. I'm going to laser out 100 yards. Well, I see a ball out there that looks about 100 yards. So... I'm going to use that as my target. So I go like this. You're going to do your full swing. Ready? Full swing. And only go 100 yards. And that ball right there is about four paces from that ball. So I did a full swing and only hit it two-thirds of my distance. So why would I want you doing that? Well, <laughs> the only way you are going to hit this golf club two-thirds distance if you turn your arms off okay because I guarantee if you use your arms there is no way on earth you're only gonna hit it a hundred yards so most people you know I tell them to do that full swing hundred yards what do they do they sit here like this and they try to whack it as hard as they can that's why I'm saying not one person has ever done this on ball one all right, but that's not going to be you. You're going to do this, okay? Because I need to tame the wild stallion in you. We're going to get the arms out of your golf swing first. So what you do is you sit here day after day after day, and you master this, okay? Again, if you use your arms, you will hit it past your two-thirds distance, if you turn your arms off, you'll be able to get it to 100 with a 7, okay? If you hit it 150, okay? And that's kind of what people do. They usually hit around 150. So 100, full swing with your 7, okay? Again, this is a drill. This isn't reality, okay? This is a drill designed to get your arms out of your golf swing and stop whacking at it, okay? That's a step. You got to get that piece, okay? So you're going to do that with irons. Then, of course, you know, we got to get the wild stallion tamed out of the driver, okay? This might be harder for some people. So let's say you hit a 210. You are going to hit this driver 140. 140. So you're going to pick out a target. That bunker right in front, that's like 160-ish from right here. So I can't even get a full driver to that bunker if I do a Full swing, boom, right here. I do not want it to go past that bunker. So here I am, ready. There it is. Bouncing well short, rolling up towards that bunker right there. 
All right. So that's what I'm getting at. You saw that like that takes zero. So there's no way on earth you can be whacking at it as hard as you can and keep it short of that bunker right there. So that is getting you to stop hitting with your arms. We got to break you down. Tame the wild stallion in you. Get you down to nothing. Okay? How do we build you back up? Because that's really, you know, not going to be too exciting hitting a driver on 40 yards. Well, you're going to add legs and hips for power. So you're going to switch the power source. You've been going like this forever. So I get you to stop hitting. Now all you have to do is start firing your hips. So that's a different power source. You get firing the legs and hips. Then you're going to hit it as far as your previous shots. And then even further. Okay? If you hit driver 210, you're maxed out. You will never hit it longer than 210. I can literally get you to do nothing and hit it 210. So wouldn't that tell you that you could probably get even more in the future? Yeah, you can. But you got to do it with your legs and hips, not your hands and arms. So if you're sitting here trying to hit as hard as you can, and then I say, hey, fire your legs and hips, now you're going to be firing with your legs and hips and hitting with your arms. So you're never letting go and relaxing your arms. That's why I need you to do this drill first. Okay, get the arms out of your swing. So you sit here, pick out a target, okay, that is two thirds your normal distance. Look at it. Oh, bunker right there. Okay, I'm going to do a normal swing, full swing, and only hit it that far. Okay, you keep doing that over and over and over and over until you can do that literally on every ball. Okay? Again, not one person has ever done this since 1991. Not one. Now, do you think if uh, a tour pro came out here, we got Tiger Woods here or Rory McIlroy, and I said, hey, Tiger, hit it two-thirds of your normal distance. Don't you think they could do that in ball one? Yeah, they can do that. I can do that <laughs> because I practiced it. Okay? So you've got to be able to do it too. That takes the hitting out of your golf swing. You get it. You get the concept. You start loosening up. They're not really going very far, but you don't care. Because all you care about is stop whacking at that ball as hard as you can. Then you're going to start to add a little bit of legs. So you've got your arms relaxed right here. Okay. You start to fire your legs and hips a little bit. So you go like this. Okay. Ready to go. Here we are. Okay, now that just flew over that bunker because I gave it a little legs and hips here. Okay, if you want the feeling, just do it up in the air like this. Take it back. Legs and hips. Legs and hips. So when you make the switch, though, don't go crazy on me. Just give it a little bit of legs and hips. You go up as hard as you possibly can you'll probably lock your arms back up and now you're back to square one again. All right, just give it a little bit of legs and hips. You're going to see that the ball's going to start going way longer. Get used to that for a few minutes, then give it a little more. And now you got even more. At that point, you're hitting it beyond what you normally hit a driver and it feels like nothing, okay? So hopefully you understand it. I got to get you to stop hitting somehow. You know, well, this, you're looking at a target that's two-thirds of your normal distance. So you've got it in your mind of how hard you're going to have to swing. You're going to basically have to put nothing into it. And you might not get that, you know, in two seconds. you got to keep doing it. You're not trying to hit perfect shots. You're trying to hit a golf ball doing a full swing two-thirds of your normal distance. And then you do that for a few minutes. You get used to it. Okay, got it. That's the feeling he's telling me about. No arms. I'm not trying to, you know, hit it as hard as I can. Great. Now we got to switch to legs and hips. So, yeah, I'd probably hold it up in the air like this. Start adding a little bit of legs and hips to it. Just turn your hips. Turn your belt buckle right here. Belt buckle. Turn it. Well, you know, for me, it'd be left of the target. Lefties, right of the target. That's the easy one. 
belt buckle. Okay, that'll get your hips moving, but don't go crazy on me. Give it a little bit, get used to that. Okay, now it's gonna be going past the two thirds distance. Now, once you're used to that, you're gonna go a little harder, and now you're gonna be hitting it as far, if not farther, than the other shots that you were trying to hit as hard as you can with your arms. All right, so hopefully you understand it. Again, we gotta tame the wild stallion here, okay? <laughs> I'm telling you, if you don't do this, you are just literally sitting here whacking away at it and it will never get any better. And as you get older, you get weaker. So you will literally hit it nowhere. That doesn't sound like fun to me. Why not do nothing? Get an effortless swing. You don't have to be strong to be loose. So 90 odd years old, you still should be able to hit it like 250. Because you're not basing it on physical strength. You're basing it on looseness. You don't have to be strong to be loose. So you should be able to do this for life. I truly hope you've enjoyed this tip. Here's another tip that's gonna help you improve your swing. Now, right below that, don't forget to click on that link because I'm gonna send you some free samples of my body swing book and video series that'll take you step by step by step through how to build a powerful, effortless, pain-free golf swing.